How you doing fellow coders and welcome to LARTECH. In today's video, we will start the Beginner's Python Guide series, a programming series to get your foot through the door in tech. In today's episode, we'll get started on our Python journey by installing it. So before we start, I just want to quickly go over two reasons why you should start learning Python. Firstly, it's the most popular language in the world. That's already a major plus. Secondly, it is one of, if not the easiest languages to learn. There aren't many weird rules or syntax, it's pretty much just no-nonsense code to get you started with programming. So there are a lot more reasons than just the two I mentioned, but I don't have time to go over all of them in this video, so let's just get started by installing Python. So you should head over to the link that I've put in the description, which is to the Python installation page, which is just at python.org slash downloads and you'll be greeted by the download Python button. So we're just going to click this button and we're going to get the installer. So run the installer. If you get this prompt just click run and you'll see install now or customize installation. I'm just going to go with install now for now but you want to make sure that you click add Python 3.9 to path because this is going to make it much easier when you want to run your Python scripts from say like the terminal or something. Instead of writing out the entire path of the script, you can just say the command Python and then your script's name and it's going to run. So I, I recommend adding Python 3.9 to path. It's going to be pretty useful later on. Right now I'm just going to go with install now and your Python should install. So I just skipped over the installation loading because no one really wants to see that. After you finish installing, you should see this window that says setup was successful. If you see this, that means you've successfully installed Python. Congratulations. You can just hit close and you're done with installing Python. Now, in order to write code, you're gonna want a good workspace to write it in. For this series, we will be using a text editor called Sublime Text. It's minimalistic, it doesn't take up much RAM, which is really important considering how much RAM like Google Chrome is taking up, like maybe an, an IDE takes up. This barely takes up any RAM, which is very good. And most importantly, it just does the job. So once again, I've provided a link in the description where you can download. Once you've clicked on the link, you'll be greeted by the Sublime Text download page. And if you're using if you're using Windows 32-bit, click Windows. If you're using Windows 64-bit, which you probably are, click Windows 64. If you're using OS X, you know what to do. So I'm using Windows 64-bit, so I'm just going to click on that. And once again, you'll be greeted by your installer. So just click on your installer. And again, just hit Run. Yes. And you, sh you should just leave this default. You don't really need to change anything. Uh, I'll just click Next and Install. And it finished very quick. So just hit Finish and you're done. Now if I go on to my recently added, I'll see Sublime Text 3. Just open it up and you'll see Sublime Text. Now I've created a folder called Beginner Python Series. I recommend you create a folder for uh, this series just so it's more organized. I've just put this on my desktop. So now what you want to do inside of Sublime Text, you're going to want to go to Tools and Build System and you want to make sure that Python is selected because we will be writing all of our code in Python for this series. Once you've done that, you're done with Sublime Text. Good job. Now what I would recommend is just pinning it to the taskbar and I'll just put it like maybe right here and now you have sublime text on your computer so if you wanted to make a new new script you can just press control N control save to save it as tests or whatever a lot of keyboard shortcuts are there we'll be covering them later in this tutorial series though so that's gonna be it for this video I hope you enjoyed and I hope you are interested in tech because we will be covering a lot of tech on this channel. I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, bye. This has been LarTech, signing out.